Hello everyone, welcome, my name is Vyaran and today I want to talk about the new trial weapons that you get from Crown of Keldegon and I want to talk about if they are actually worth getting, if they're worth grinding and talk about what the grind actually is. So for those of you who don't know, Mythic Weapons came out with the Crown of Keldegon, which is the new trial. Now I'm using Lionheart, a lot of people are using Mirage and very few are using Celestial. And these new weapons, I'll pull them up in the collections here. These new weapons are essentially the same as Celestial, just a higher item level. So my Lionheart are 1200 each. Whereas these are 1850 each. Which means I'll get an increase of around about 1300 item level if I was running these. Which is going to boost up my base damage. Now if you look at the powers... As you can see, it's pretty much the exact same as Celestial. No one likes Celestial. The Lion Arts are known to be better. Even the Mirage are known to be better than the Celestial weapons. So why would you start farming Crown of Caldagon? A lot of people are farming it. I think you could count on two hands how many groups are actually succeeding in it. But a lot of gr groups are farming it either for bragging rights or for these weapons however it will be for the item level only it won't be for the equipped power so my opinion on the crown of cardigan and if these weapons are worth it is you have to discover what kind of player you are so there are three types of players in neverwinter you have the casual players who just roam around enjoy the game do the campaigns, do the randoms, and don't really care too much about gear. And that is probably the best way to be. Just run around, have fun, do whatever you want to do. Now, the next kind of players are basically players like me, who are casual endgame. So casual endgame means that you've gone, you've got some of the gear but you haven't actually got all of it but you can effectively run all end game content no matter what if i wanted to i'm sure that i could run crown of caldagon um i'm sure i could keep up with dps but the only thing that's holding me back is the band of air and mythic insignias also so the mythic insignias will boost your item level a ton and also the Band of Air will also boost your damage by a ton as well. So, <clears throat> I call myself Casual Endgame because I don't specifically like Endgame content. Actually, I hate it. I hate 10-man content. I did Tower of the Mad Mage just for the Lionheart weapons because I did not want to farm the Mirage weapons. Anyone who found the Mirage weapons, big respect to you. That is not an easy grind. So... I didn't do Zariel, I think I did, I maybe did Baby Zariel once, and that was easy. Never did Master Zariel, because there was nothing in it for me. Uh, I did Tower of the Mad Mage, I got the rings I needed, and I got my Lionheart weapons. And then Voss came out. Uh, the Vault of Stars, I went in. I've, I haven't even been in that much, I think I've been in about less than 20 times. I got two rings that I needed, and that was about it. These are the only rings that I needed, and at the time, the Band of Air was not out. So, these are the rings that I have stuck with. Now, the third type of people is the true end gamers. The true end gamers are the elite of the elite. They can do all end game content, they get all of their gear, they max all their gear out, they max their insignias, their enchantments, bolsters whatever you can think of they max it out and they also go and get the best of the best gear you know your your ribcage your garistro your band of air uh your legendary voss rings and then these true end gamers are also in the crown of caldagon because they are trying to get these weapons are they going to use these weapons maybe not however if they do it is likely to be for the damage boost you get with the item level because the actual equip power itself, as I've said, is not all that great. However, 
it could give you more DPS if someone tested it maybe with the celestial equip power plus the item level base damage it might beat the Mirage and the Lionheart so are these mythic weapons from Crown of Caldagon worth farming it depends on your preference me personally I don't think so um, a lot of people are struggling, a lot of people are arguing in the Crown of Caldagon. There's a lot of turmoil in the Neverwinter Endgame community right now. But there is groups out there that are actually trying it and they're using teamwork, they're staying calm. It's the best way to be if you want to do that sort of content. However, if you're a casual gamer, I would say don't you don't need these weapons. Just do whatever you want to do. Uh, to make you enjoy the game me as a casual end game I don't want the weapons I don't need the weapons if I can get a run for crown of Caldagon, even though I do keep freezing because I don't know my kitchen isn't perpendicular to the river outside which is interfering with my Wi-Fi speed or whatever the bullshit developer said if I wasn't freezing then maybe I would try it However, I absolutely hate 10 man content, so the odds are me ever trying Crown of Caledigon are just never going to happen. I'll happily wait for some new Mastercraft weapons because I think Mastercraft, if five people in your group are using it, Mastercraft beats everything. And for me, there's no contest. I would happily use Mastercraft if everyone else was using it. Um, so for the casual end gamers, I would say you don't need these weapons. Stick to your Mirage, stick to your Lionheart, whatever you're using, stick to it. If it's working for you, why change it? Um, the true end gamers, only you can make that decision. You're the ones going through this grind. You're the ones struggle bossing through this new trial. So are them weapons in your eyes worth it? Is that possible extra damage boost? really worth grinding how many runs is it i think it's 20 per weapon unless you get the drop at the end so you get the currency and you need 20 you need 20 of this currency you get one per success su succession you get one per succession and you need 20 for one weapon 20 for the other however you can get the weapons to drop at the end you only get one weapon dropping, so if you're a rogue, you might see a control wizard drop. Or if you're a control wizard, you might see a rogue drop. And it's all just RNG uh, based on what weapon actually drops. But you true end gamers, if there is any of you out there, let me know if these weapons, in your eyes, are worth it. I'm, in I'm interested to know. Also guys, before I end the video, don't forget to pick up your coalescent ward. Uh, I didn't want to do another intro because it was like 54 seconds long and there's no point taking up more of your time than needed but let me know down below what weapons you guys are using are you going to be going for the new trial weapons or are you going to be sticking with your Mirage or your Lion Art or whatever you're using leave a like on the video if you enjoyed subscribe if you are new and you want to make your way back to the channel thanks for watching I'll see you guys in the next one